Okay, so one of the coolest ways to catch them, in my opinion, is to throw a little swim bait around. Whenever I'm skipping a frog under bushes, you're like, skip it up under there and you're making a huge commotion, they blow up on it. But there's something about slow reeling a swim bait whenever you're just barely moving the reel handle and these fish just come unglued on it. I mean, it's like they're waiting on it with a Louisville slugger just to knock that sucker. I mean, they hit it so hard, it's so much fun, and everything's quiet and calm and you're just reeling it and BAM! Probably gonna be a drum right here. There's a fish on the old swim bait. A little large mouth. The one type I didn't expect to catch much of today on this. Oh man. He pretty much ate it off the bottom. That's something to take note of. Ooh, just got nailed. Ah, again. I wonder what they are. There's one. Spotted bass. Don't tear my swim bait up. Don't tear my swim bait up. Little one, but it's fun when they tick this thing. So for this setup, and I'll show you kind of the head and the swim bait that I like to throw. So basically, Fishtails in Cleveland made me these heads um, they didn't have any in stock that I really loved, so they made these, and this is like one of the best swim bait heads that I found for this little Kitek. I mean, this one's used up, it's got super glue on it and some residue and banged up off rocks, but I'm about to catch a few more on this thing. It's an eighth ounce weight, they made that for me when I went in there one morning, and I throw just a, this is a Strike King 3.75 inch, I throw these, anything from a three to a four Kitek style bait. I say Kitek style because it's the only ones that look exactly like this, is Kitek was first. All right. Oh, that one stumped it, dude. I mean, smashed it. Spotted bass. What's that large mouth? That is a spot. Spotted one. He got hooked upside down. That's a meaty little sucker right there. Thick one. There's a drum right there. And that's, that sucker don't bite, something is wrong. Got him bigging, dude. I mean, bigging a big old drum. Like a big, big for sure. Like 10 or 12 pounds, probably. Look at that big old nasty joker. Oh, he's, I got him, I'm around his gills. That means he might break me off. Look at that dude, how big is he? 14 pounder? Well, whatever Hunter says is right, so. Get over here, dude. Ugly kinda. Ain't no kinda about it. He's ugly no matter what kind of, kind of way you talk to him. Is it really bite you? No. Nope. Are you scared of him? Kinda. Where's my hook at? A bass that big? That'd be insane. So, I rig this thing up pretty standard. I just hold the hook up beside the body. See how far I need to come out beside the slit. So you can see right there, I count up about four rings above the bottom of the slit. So, just rig, thread it up on there to get it to where I'm supposed to 
come out at because you want this thing to be perfectly straight so that's where I'm gonna come out at push up to the bottom you want to put you a little bit of super glue on this will save you a ton of headache throughout the day it'll make this swim bait last a ton longer so I just put a little drop of super glue on both sides of the uh, lid and slide this thing up on there just like that that's not as straight as I would if I was in a tournament I wouldn't throw this one like this because it's not straight as I want it but for today we're fishing for spots and smallies and they really don't seem to care Oh, big small mouth. Big old giant small mouth. He, he ate it off a rock. Man. I was, huh? He ate it off that dang rock. This is a big one, too. You see how high he jumped? Yeah. <laughs> it's a dang show big one. <laughs> yeah. Under the boat. That's what we came down here for. Four pounder? You see him? <laughs> Man! Come on, dude. There he comes. That's a big one. How about that? That took so long. I know. Look at that swim bait in his mouth. Look at that. I hate that sucker. Possibly my PB smallie. I don't think so. Though. Watch him come up and show get. There's little spots. Oh, he came off. So, the, I just put it on straight fluorocarbon. The knot I tie is a double pitson. If y'all watched my knot video from a long time ago, I still don't got many views, but I had even less back then, so a lot of people have not seen that video. But I tie a regular double pitson knot. Pretty standard. Some people call it a jam. It's actually called a double pitson. I think it is in the jam, it's a jam kind of knot, but it's not a San Diego jam. But anyways, I'm not going to make a detail on the knot because it's not that uh, quick. It's pretty slow to teach it, but it does have three tag ends like this right here. The reason I throw 10 pound test is, and a lightweight, it just lets this swim bait have such so much more rock. So whatever I'm throwing this bait, the tail's gonna be kicking and the head's gonna be rocking back and forth like this. And if you throw this thing on 15, you just won't get the same action out of it. And if you throw it on a heavier head, you won't get the same action out of it. So I feel like the perfect combo for this little swim bait, 10 pound test and an eight ounce head. Got a pretty good hook in that thing. So if I hook a four pounder or something, I'm gonna get it in because it's got a pretty stout hook. But that's my swim bait setup. It's a very, very fun way to catch them. Sometimes I get tired of flipping and frogging. Not really, but sometimes I do want to go catch them on something different sometimes. So let's throw this sucker around catching some fish what about just a giant discount there's one what are these little so I know these spots are so tiny oh uh, he tore my tail off 
That's the worst part about them. Is there's some big spots in this river, but look at the colors on that one. Pretty, man. I know I told the drum not messed up. I should have told him not to. So, there's a couple different things I have found that help me catch more fish on a swim bait. In my opinion, basically, I throw a very light action rod. This is a seven foot medium moderate cranking rod. That's what I throw for a swim bait. That's uh, like a 3.8 inch Kitek. That's what I throw. I've heard of people using all the way to an eight foot cranking rod for that, but I use a seven footer. Medium speed reel. This is a 6.4 to one gear ratio Shimano Corrado. 50e i throw 10 pound 100 fluorocarbon that's what i use for this setup okay so i am from east southeast kind of alabama we don't have a smallmouth lake within three hours of where i grew up so my personal best smallmouth is a 312 roughly and i did weigh one 312 i've caught a couple around that size i've got one today that possibly is my personal best smallmouth so we're gonna see i'm pretty sure i'm gonna break that next week on oneida but this is a pretty big one for down here Let's just see what she weighs. Three fifteen. I'm calling that a four pounder. New personal best though. Three fifteen. Let's turn him loose. This water feels so warm. It's so hot out here right now. So I'm not saying this is fun as frogging, but these little swim baits right here are a great way to slow down, downsize and finesse fish and actually catch some fish. It's something I've thrown a lot over the past probably two and a half, three years or so. Like I just love whenever the bite gets tough, this is one of the things I go to and it's actually pretty fun to get some bites on. So just to reiterate, seven foot cranking rod, 6.4 to one, 10 pound test, eight ounce jig head and a 3.75 inch swim bait. You had to get out there and have yourself a ball. We was on Nick Jack today. Caught that one big smallie. I thought we'd catch more smallies, but just didn't work out today. As always, if you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. Hunter's editing this one again, so leave a thumbs up for Hunter editing. That's it. See y'all.